Well, hello everybody. Uh, today's topic is uh, uh, bone drugs. New cautions are raised over drugs to help your bones. I touched on this before in uh, another video. Uh, we we're talking about dental implants and the effects of bone drugs on healing. And so I want to spend uh, a few minutes just talking about um, why it's important that we get a thorough medical history. And medical history includes all the medications you're taking. Um, unfortunately, I, I, and it's it it's it's um, it's one of those things that you're you're sometimes dumbfounded as as a dentist to not get the information about the bone drug on the front end. Fosamax, also known by its generic name, alendronate. And Boniva. From the patient, because it, it to, you know, to them it's innocuous. They think that the, the bone drug is, uh, it's something they, they don't, they're not a pill that they're taking every day or, uh, or anything like that. It's something they, they take periodically. And sometimes it, it just, um, they forget, you know, and, and that happens, uh, but, I can't reinforce enough uh, how important it is that we know that you're, if you are taking any of these drugs or have taken them in the past, that we do have that in your history, and so we can make the appropriate uh, modifications to your to your treatment. I'm just trying to help you out, okay? I want to make sure that you're okay. Um, whether it be going on a, uh, a drug holiday where we take you off the drug with your, of course, with your physician's uh, permission. Uh, for for a period of time, and that period of time can extend up to uh, uh, you know, could extend up to a year or more. So uh, so obviously you want to coordinate this with your physician. And uh, but but as far as um, you know these these bone drugs are concerned, uh, they can if if you know if we don't if we don't have this information and you were to be treated with uh, any type of surgical procedure, say an extraction or an implant, um, then that can cause. Uh, um, um, bad results with, uh, with healing. And, uh, and so, and it can lead to something called osteonecrosis, which, uh, you know, could lead to, um, some, um, some extensive damage to the, to the, uh, jawbone. Um, and certainly we want to avoid that. Uh, so it's really important that we have all the information and, um, and we, we include this in our medical history. And now, because, uh, we try to do all of our, uh, paperwork, um, online through text or email, um, it's really nice because it becomes one of our forms and it's a separate form that has all the drugs listed. And uh, we scoured the internet for every possible drug that, that we could think of to, um, to ask about. And, uh, and so, um, you know, if there is any name generic or, or by trade name that you recognize, then you can check yes or no and then we can ask you some follow-up questions and just get some information from your physician and, and then figure out, you know, what we need to do to, um, to, uh, to treat you safely. So, uh, so that's, that's important, uh, that, that you fill out the form and let us know, uh, so we can, um, treat you safely. Thank you. Thank you. Great health starts with your smile. Schedule your appointment today with Dr. Mize at Sunset Periodontics and in the Dentistry.